The first thing I'm going to show you is called the pentatonic scale. The pentatonic scale starts on the seventh fret of the biggest string, low E. We're going to use our pointer finger for this note. The second note is on the same string, but on the tenth fret with our pinky. Pointer, pinky. Then we're going to go to the A string, which is the string right next to it, and we're going to play seven with our pointer and ring on the ninth fret. Seven, then nine, both on the A string. Then we're going to go to the next string, which is called the D string. Seven on D with your pointer, nine on D with your ring finger. Next, we're going to the G. Point your finger on seven, ring finger on nine. So A, D, and G all do fret seven and nine. So to recap so far, we have seven and ten on the big string, low E. The next three strings all do seven and nine. The last two strings do seven and ten with your pointer and pinky. So seven and ten on the B string, which is the one after G. And then the last string, high E string, also does seven and ten. So to recap the whole scale, seven and ten on low E with pointer and pinky. The next three strings do fret seven and nine. The last two strings do fret 7 and 10 with your pointer and pinky. Pointer, add pinky to the 10th fret without lifting up my 7th fret. Then I lift up to transition to the next string. Seven, cover that up with the ninth fret. Try to avoid lifting your pointer finger up right after you play the seventh fret. Keep it, keep it in place until it's time to change strings. The first two chords you're going to learn are E5 and A5. To play an E5 chord, we need the open low E string. What I mean by open is that I'm playing that string without holding down a fret with my left hand. Open, low E. The second note of that chord is going to be on the A string, which is right next to low E. A string, fret number two, with my pointer finger. Together, those two notes make E5. Next, we're going to learn A5. A5 takes place on the open A string and the second fret of the D string. The D string is E, A, and D right there. So we want the second fret of the D string and open A. Together, those two notes make our A5. Once you can play E5 and A5, try to put them together by playing each chord four times before transitioning to the other. If you notice, all that really happens is we're shifting one string to the floor. E is going to A, A is going to D. Now that you can play E5 and A5 back to back and evenly, we can modify each chord to play the blues. We're going to start with our E5 chord, which took place on open E and then the second fret of the A string. We're going to start out by playing E5 twice. Once we do that, we're going to shift the second fret. We're going to change the second fret to the fourth fret. So we're essentially going to cover it up like we did on our scale with our ring finger, 
So we're going twice, one, zero, and two. We're going to cover the second fret up with your ring finger on the fourth fret of the A string. So two on A, and then the two is going to change to a four on A. And we're going to play each of those twice. Two, two, four, four. So we started with our E5, played it twice, and then changed our second fret to the fourth fret of the same string with our ring finger. A5 is modified in the exact same way. We start with our A5, open A, second fret on the D string. We're going to do the same thing by playing A5 twice. After we do that, our second fret of the D string is going to be covered up by the fourth fret of the of the D string, still the D string. So two is going to be covered by the fourth fret with your ring finger. And just like before, E5 and A5, you want to be able to play both of those chords back to back. The next thing we're going to learn is the closed power chord. The closed power chord is going to start on the 7th fret of the low E string with our pointer finger. The second note is going to be on the A string, 9th fret, with your pinky or your ring finger. Once we can play that chord, 7 and 9, we're going to drop 2 frets to 5 and 7. 5 on E, 7 on A. Same fingers. Once we play that chord, we're going to drop down another two frets to 3 on E and 5 on A. Same fingers. So we have three different power chords. We have B5, A5, and G5. thing we're going to cover in this session is E minor and A suspended. E minor is played by starting on the low E string. We're going to play it open. The second note is on the A string, second fret, middle finger. A string, second fret, middle finger. The next note is going to take place on the D string, second fret, ring finger. Make sure that your middle finger is positioned slightly on the left side of the fret to make room for your ring finger. The next note is open G, the next note is open B, and the last note is open high E. Zero, two on A with middle finger, two on D with ring, ring finger. is played very similarly. We start with the open A string, second fret on D string, middle finger, second fret G, ring finger, open B, open E, high E. A 
suspended. Just like our other exercises, we're going to play both chords back to back as evenly as possible. pentatonic scale to create a melody between two chords. Chord, pentatonic, Shut down all your love 